Hello everyone. I am Sivendra Singh. Today I'm going to discuss a question from Tomato. Uh, subjective question number 153. It is a past year question from ISI, BSTAT and BMAT entrance examination. This is a question from the topic limit of sequence. Uh, we can see that uh, x1 is equal to tan inverse 2, uh, which is greater than x2, greater than x3. It seems that this is a monotone decreasing sequence. Axons are monotone decreasing sequence. Uh, uh, and they are a positive real numbers satisfying this criteria for n greater than equals to 1. So in order to find cot of axon and then so this term solution sine of xn plus 1 minus xn is equal to what is sine a minus b this is sine a into cos b minus cos a into sine b so i'm going to use the same formula sine a into cos b minus cos a into sin b right uh, so we have uh, sin x plus Plus one minus x n plus two to the power minus n plus one times sine of x n into sine of x n plus one is equal to zero. This implies that sine x n plus 1 times cos of x n minus cos of x n plus 1 into sine of x n plus 2 to the power minus n plus 1 times sine of x n into sine of x n plus 1 is equal to 0. I just substituted this uh, value of sine x n plus 1 minus x n here and nothing much. So we take sine x n plus 1 common from this equation from first and last equation uh, sign x plus one then we have cos of x n minus two raised power minus n plus one times sine of xn and this is minus sign so we take it on the right hand side it become cos of cos x plus 1 times sine of xn uh, we need to find cot to term right so this is cos taking sine this side this will be cot and taking sine this side this will be cos by sine so we divide we divide by uh, two terms first sine x plus one into sine of x n both the side so Uh, 
okay uh, so what thing we get we'll get this and this to be cancelled and here as well this two things will be cancelled this will be called x and plus one so let me write in opposite way cot of x and plus one is equal to cos by sine this is cot of x n minus sine x and sine x n will be cancelled and this will be one by two to the power n plus one and we already have n is greater than equals to one and n is natural number of course so uh, here will be plus sign as you can see this here so cot of x n plus 1 minus cot of x n is equal to 1 by 2 raised power n plus 1 or cot of x n minus cot of x n minus 1 is equal to 1 by 2 to the power n cot of x n minus 1 minus cot of x n minus 2 is equal to 1 by 2 raised power uh, n minus 1 so taking this way the last term cot of x2 minus cot of x1 this is 1 by 2 square so we take sum over this thing okay so this is again some kind of telescopic uh you see that here this will be cancelled this term will be cancelled everything will be cancelled and therefore cot of x n minus cot of x1 is equal to 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 2 cube plus data dot plus 1 by 2 raised power n right so this is this is a geometric sum and you already know that this is a into 1 minus what is r r is half right r to the power number of terms the number of term is what n minus 1 sorry it's n minus 2 correct no, it's an minus one. Divide by one minus R. So what will be this? Let's start next piece. Cot x n minus cot of x one this is equal to uh, after simplifying we get 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1 by 4 times 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1 so this will be 
2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1 by 2 to the power n and we already have x1 cot inverse half right so so cot of xn is equal to cot of cot inverse 1 by 2 plus 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1 by 2 to the power n since uh, this lies in first quadrant right uh, therefore this will be half okay half plus 2 is power n minus 1 minus 1 by 2 raised power n taking LCM uh, this will be 2 raised power n minus 1 plus 2 raised power n minus 1 minus 1 so we'll get 2 raised power n minus 1 by 2 raised power n which is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 raised power n for all n greater than equals to 1 right so we have cot of xn therefore cot of xn is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 raised power n for all n greater than equals to 1 c c 0 less than equals to 1 minus 1 by 2 raised power n is less than 1. Else, xn lies in first quadrant. Right, therefore, xn is equal to cot inverse 1 minus 1 by 2 to the power n and limit n tends to infinity xn is equal to limit n tends to infinity cot inverse 1 minus 1 by 2 to the power n mm, this will be this will go to 0 so this term will go to 1 right cot inverse 1 is equal to pi plus 1 so this is our proof and here yeah, this is the first time Thank you.